Hey Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark and today we're checking out some more Reddit stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. Let's crack on with today's first story. Much love guys. Now today's first story comes from a throwaway account and says, I accused my 28 male fiance of cheating on me, 26 female, and left the house. Throw away because I feel really stupid and need advice. My fiance and I have been in a relationship for the last six years, engaged for the last two years, and we're about to get married in November 2024. Going to try and not make this long. On Monday, I woke up around 2 a.m. to go to the bathroom. As I walked past my fiance's side of the bed, his phone went off with a message. I got curious and looked. The message was from a girl called Angie. The message said it was good to see you again and I had a lot of fun. We should do it again sometime. I took his phone with me to the bathroom and read their chats. Nothing sexual or even flirty, but there was a bunch of conversations of meeting up at her place. What they did that day, all the fun they were having. I remember yesterday that I wanted to do something with him, but he couldn't as his sister was in town and they have arranged to meet and hang out for months now. He did invite me along, but I didn't go didn't want to take away from his time with his sister. My thoughts immediately went to him cheating on me and I started to bawl like a baby in the bathroom. My fiance came rushing into the bathroom to see what was going on. I was not as quiet as I thought I was in the end. When he came close to me and asked what was going on, I told him not to touch me. He looked hurt in that moment and took a step back. I gave him his phone and told him, explain yourself through my tears. He took the phone, looked and laughed. Then I saw him laughing. I got up and stormed out, locking myself in the spare bedroom. He came to the bedroom and through the door said he was sorry for laughing and tried to explain himself. Before he said anything else, I told him to leave. He then left to our bedroom. That morning, before he woke up, I grabbed some of my things and came to my sister's house. I have been here since Tuesday morning, too afraid to go home. He sent me a message that morning saying, He heard and saw me leave, but didn't want to stop me because of what happened the night before. Again, he said he's sorry for laughing, but the situation was just ridiculous in the moment and his tired brain responded with laughter. I sent back some hurtful things and that he is a cheater. He responded with, Angie is a nickname for my sister Angelina. He told me to confirm with his sisters if I didn't believe him and told me to check Facebook and Insta if I need proof because pictures were posted of their meetup yesterday. He didn't say anything to the hurtful thing I said to him or anything, but told me the house is open for me to come back anytime I like and when I do, we will have a serious conversation about what happened and what will happen going forward. I'm scared to go home because I feel like he'll be breaking up with me and I don't want that. How can I handle this? I know I was wrong for the way I acted. I acted like a child. I overreacted. How can I fix this? What can I do now? And there was a conversation string after this one about and questioning OP. And it was one of the questions I had. So Chicken Loop says, how did you not put Angie and Angelina together as the sister of the man you were supposedly marrying? Especially when he told you he was meeting his sister and invited you to go. Sorry, sis, but this is your own damn idiotic fault. Shake my head. Edit, especially since you all have been together for six years. You mean in that time you never heard her called Angie? Cute Somewhere says, even if you hadn't heard him call her Angie before, you knew that his sister's name was Angelina, which is obviously very similar. And she was in town and he'd been hanging out with her and you immediately jumped to assuming he was cheating. I'm sorry, but this is an absolutely buck wild reaction. If he doesn't break up with you, you need to get yourself into therapy ASAP and figure out where this knee jerk reaction came from. In fact, you really should do that either way because this level of trust issue in an otherwise stable six-year relationship is not normal. Unless you're leaving out something huge like past infidelity. Opie responds saying, Nothing like that at all. He's always been loving and never hid anything from me. We know the password to every device each other owns. City Girl Sunflower says to OP, I hate to be the asshole, but I'm curious as to why cheating was the first thing you went to. If he's never given you a reason to believe he's cheating and when he was especially clear about what and who he was going to see, I can't help but feel that there's some projection or guilt on your end. 
I don't know, it just seems insane to me. That's where your mind went to, and that's how you reacted. Opie says, I was cheated on before by my previous boyfriend, and found out in an almost similar way. So Opie added a brief edit to their post and says, before someone asked, have I heard him referring to his sister as Angie in the past, but my brain didn't put it together that night. I've been at my sister's house since Tuesday morning, too afraid to go home, and the only text I've gotten from him so far is him asking if I'm okay and a goodnight text. When I try to talk over the phone, he says he will talk when you are home. He won't be doing it over a phone. The conversation had to be face to face. So sometime after that, OP comes in with their own update and says, I don't know what to do now. My fiance left me. This morning, I got ready to go home. Before I left, I had a final conversation with my sister and she basically said the same as all of you. During our conversation, the doorbell rung and my sister went to have a look who is here so early on a Sunday. My fiance walked in and I was actually excited to see him. I went in to hug him, but he pushed me away. I felt hurt in that moment and he asked to speak to me in private. We went up to the guest room where I was staying. I'm not going to say everything we discussed on here, but the short of the story is. He found it very childish of me to run out of the house without talking to him. He said he could have forgiven all of that because of a misunderstanding happened. But what he can't forgive is the way I acted and ignored him and hid from him the last week. My insecurities all throughout these years have taken a toll on him and he has done. The fact that a conversation with his sister caused me to do all of this made him see me in a different light. I did try and explain and he laughed at me saying my reasoning is bullshit as not just he but the whole family refers to his sister as Angie and I know that. He even brought up instances where I call her Angie myself. I tried to tell him that when I saw the text messages my mind just went blank and he responded with stop making excuses, I'm done with this. He then said it's better to break up because he doesn't see this relationship going any further. I showed him all my stuff was packed and that I wanted to go home today. He just responded, too little, too late. He said it as if it was in the movie with no emotion on his face. When he looked at me, all I saw on his face for some reason is pity for me. He said he'd be cancelling everything and all the money that I've spent on the wedding so far will be in my account as soon as he gets the refund. Before he left, he just said, I hope you'll find someone that will be able to handle your childishness and insecurities, but that won't be me. Ouch. He brought all my things to my sister's house. He and two of his friends unload everything on my sister's lawn and left. What do I do now? I haven't been able to eat the whole day and just keep crying. How can I fix this? I was wrong, I know, but it's not fair that he will dump me because of this. So there was a couple more comments with replies from OP on this one. Render636 says, Info, did you want him to cheat? Why were you so sure he was cheating when you literally know his sister's name is Angie? It sounds like you're almost looking for an out. Just break up with him. He deserves better. ETA saw your update. Good on him. What the fuck do you mean it's not fair that he dumped you? I understand what he's saying when he said you're childish. You literally sound like a toddler stomping your feet and saying it's not fair. It's absolutely fair. You disrespected him and your relationship by accusing him of infidelity. Not letting him explain the extremely rational explanation, then hiding at your sister's house for an entire week just to not face the consequences of your actions. You need real psychological help if you were cheated on over half a decade ago and still use it as an excuse to be controlling, manipulative, jealous, and childish. Hope you learn from this experience and get the help you so obviously need. Opie says, I wasn't. I've been cheated on before and my mind just went there. That guy Malcolm says to OP, I bet you weren't cheated on by this guy, who you've been with for six years. Trust goes both ways. Be hopeful that he is looking to work this out, because you need to work on yourself. I'd have dumped you if this is a reoccurrent theme. OP says he dumped me this morning, and no, I've never thought he would cheat on me. It's just when I saw the text, my mind went blank. Now, I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and let's move on to another story now this one has a couple of updates to it and it's titled my dad is pretending i'm not getting married so my dad has always been a very show-off person 
announcements about grades, telling everyone how great his daughters are doing, telling off my sister for having a job he can't show off. When he divorced from my mum, he was a good parent for a while, and then he met Eva. Eva is way younger, had had a lot of work done, and used to send him flirty messages when he was still married. They got married very early on in the relationship because they've known each other for ages. She told him not to text us too much because we are adults. She checks his phone all the time. She forbade him from seeing us Christmas Day or since Stephen's Day because he needed to be with his new family. And it would have been disrespectful to her for him to see his ex-wife and she's overall been an absolute nightmare. And he follows everything she tells him to do. Now, I'm getting married and told my dad he's invited but she's not. I've met the woman once and I don't like her. Plus, I know my father isn't a great person. and He'd be making jabs at my mum about being older than Eva, etc. To make it fair, my mum's boyfriend is also not invited, although he's a sweetheart. My dad's answer to my invite has been to pretend nothing is happening. I sent him a save the date and he sent me a thumbs up emoji. He hasn't asked me one question about the wedding, not even the venue even though he told me shortly before meeting Eva that he was looking forward to me and my sister getting married and how excited he was. Myself and my fiancé are different religions and cultures, so everyone's had lots of questions about how we're handling that. Turns out that he hasn't told Eva I'm getting married, and he hasn't told anyone else, so he's just planning to say he has a work trip and come to the wedding. I don't actually think he's going to show up. I think he will say he's going to and then not show at the last minute, but my sister thinks he'll show up with her and make a whole scene because he told her Eva has just as much right to be there as your mum. Anyone else dealt with something similar? Do I need a backup to walk me down the aisle? So Sailor Spyro comes into this one and says, I just want to point out that your dad is in an abusive relationship. His new wife is cutting him off from his family, his support system, so she can have more control over him. He probably won't be allowed to go to the wedding because she's not invited and probably wouldn't have been allowed to even if she was. Your dad is an ass all on his own, but I think it's important to recognize that he's still capable of being abused and that it's happening. Opie says yes, they both suck. He's always been a cheater, at least three other women during the span of 10 years that we have evidence of. And I think no evidence he was cheating on my mum with her so that's why she's constantly monitoring his phone and not allowing him to leave the house we told him not to marry her and that her behavior is very concerning but he seems very blind grumpy smiler says it sounds like he wants to come and he knows the only way him coming without his wife is possible is if he lies about it he's risking getting caught to be able to go which speaks volumes about their relationship but if she checks his phone, you're causing further risk of her finding out if you keep messaging him about the wedding. Stick to the phone call so there's no record. I hope he can make it and there's no drama. Opie says I rang him the first time to tell him I was getting married and then sent him the save the date the second time asking if he was coming. I didn't know that he hadn't told her at the time. I have no idea why the wife wouldn't let him go to his daughter's wedding though if she's as amazing as he says. And people were questioning why the boyfriend's mum isn't invited. And Opie says, far more drama if I include him and exclude Eva. It's not worth the headache. He will for sure not show up if I invite my mum's boyfriend and not his wife. My mum understands that even though my dad is not the best dad ever, I still want him there. They aren't together that long, so she's okay with her boyfriend staying at home. Plus then he can stay with the dogs and she doesn't have to worry about getting a dog sitter. Most of the family is going as well, so there's nobody to look after them. But so Opie comes in with a first update and says, So it turns out my dad ended up telling Eva about my wedding and telling her that she was invited to the wedding to avoid problems. She got herself a dress, booked a hotel, etc. My dad tried to convince me to invite her, but his biggest selling point was that he thought it'd be an amazing time to introduce Eva to my mum and my mum's whole family. Why would he think my mum would want to meet this woman is beyond me and that she would feel excluded otherwise. He always rubs it in our faces, his new family, even calling it his new family. Keeps cancelling every dinner he sets up with my sister due to some emergency involving Eva or tells us to call Eva mum. 
Both me and my sister are way beyond the point of calling some random a mum since we both moved out and he's being ridiculous. He called me again and again trying to convince me and I said no. Explaining that I only knew the reason he wanted to bring his wife to the wedding was to upset mum and that I wasn't going to let the two of them do that. He makes jabs at my mum every time he's around her about how great his new wife is. I thought the whole thing was over until I sent him some information about the wedding and I guess he started feeling guilty and told us that he booked the flight for Eva as well and he booked himself on the same flight as my mum. Changed his whole flight plans just so he could be on the flight with her so that my mum and Eva could still meet aka he could still rub his new wife in her face and try and screw with my mum's head by putting her down and making comparisons and then Eva would just go off and shop while he was at the ceremony. I'm not sure if this is true or he was going to try and bring her to the wedding and hope that she didn't get kicked out. I'm trying to convince my mum to change her flight so he can't get inside her head 12 hours before the wedding. I don't know if I should uninvite him. So a commenter asks OP, they said, oh my god, yes. What has your mum done that you'd facilitate hurting her? Why does he know so many details of your mum's travel plans? OP says, she is the main reason I haven't uninvited him yet. She keeps saying I need to have a relationship with him and being more understanding. He knows because he asked and we figured he was trying to avoid being on the same flight as her. So OP adds their latest update which was after the wedding has happened and says wedding has happened. It just took a bit of time to update because it's my life and it all went south and was too raw to try and write it in a coherent way. It still probably won't be super coherent. Summary TLDR from previous posts. My dad was acting weird around the wedding. Turns out he told his new wife she was invited when she was not. When I got close to the wedding and I told him to tell her, he got his wife a flight with him so she wouldn't feel left out and then purposely chose to be on the same flight as my mum so that my mum and his new wife could meet. He has a vindictive streak so we knew he was trying to upset my mum. Okay, so update. I asked him to change his flight because he had specifically asked me what flight my mum was on so he could avoid her, he had said, and my mum was flying with my grandpa so it would have been quite hard to change their flights to avoid him. My dad told me he'd change flights and that he'd invent some lie to tell Eva. He also said I was a horrible person for not believing him when he told me that he had not booked the flight out of spite, but he told my mum he booked the flight on purpose so that she could meet his new wife. And what reason would there be for wanting them to meet other than to be an arsehole? I thought the whole thing was resolved and my mum was really adamant that she wanted my dad to be there because I don't have a great relationship with him and she knew it would have meant the end of the relationship if I uninvited him. Fast forward two days after the conversation. My dad rebooked his flight and sent me a message to say he had changed flights. Then that evening he calls me. I answered the phone and I could hear someone screaming down the phone. Turns out Eva got her hands on my dad's phone. Read the messages where I asked him to reschedule the flight. And she rang me shouting down the phone that I am unhinged. I'm a horrible person. I am effed in the head. She said that I am so weird because I'm in my 30s and I still talk to my parents. This one was really weird because am I meant to stop at a certain age? And that I'm jealous of the fact that my dad has a new life. I was very calm and said that I'm sorry she's upset, that the issues around the wedding aren't really related to her directly and that my dad was trying to upset my mum. I also said my mum's partner is not coming either so it wouldn't be fair to have her there. She started shouting that my mum was a fat old cow and I lost it. I absolutely lost it. In this whole thing, my mum has said nothing bad about Eva. I told her I never had an issue with her until now, but that she's a crazy bitch who is super controlling and that I was so glad I never invited her. Then I hung up because by that stage it had been two minutes of her shouting at me and I didn't feel like there was any point in talking any longer. The whole time this was going on, my dad was in the background saying feebly, oh no, don't be mad at her while she was shouting down the phone at me. Anyway. Next day, my dad calls me and says that Eva was upset because he didn't tell her about changing the flight and that I was awful for responding to her like that. He also said, do you really think this is my fault? And I said, yes. And he said, do you really refuse to take any responsibility? None of this would have happened if you had invited her like I asked you to. And I said, does he actually think he has any say in my wedding? 
when he didn't even ask me what type of ceremony I had, never asked to see my dress or get involved in any way, monetary or otherwise. He asked me if he was still invited and I said, obviously not. He then told me to be careful what I wrote in my messages to him because she was monitoring his phone. And I said, I'm not speaking to him again, so that won't be a problem. The wedding was good. My mum walked me down the aisle and there was nobody there to cause drama. So in the end, it all worked out for the best. The whole thing was just a lot more dramatic than I originally thought it would be. We thought he might end up not coming because he was too entangled in his lies but for sure did not expect the call I got. And it was very close to the wedding when all the drama happened. There were some varying comments on this one. A lot of people saying, you know, this is karma for, for him. Other people saying, you know, he's in an abusive relationship, but that's not OP's issue at the same time. Only he can get himself out of that. And it was a kind of a mix between those two kind of comments. But what do you guys make of this situation? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much for being involved. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care and much love.